Hello there, YouTube family. Auntie is here for a Tuesday. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. I literally have notes like everywhere. We start off with a hug. Come on. And we've got some interesting things to talk about. And I'm having, oh, it's, it's working. I was having a problem with one of the lashes. It was, it was doing whatever it wanted. Okay, if you're a fan of Snowfall, get ready for the sixth and final season. It airs on FX, a show that was created by the late director, John Singleton. I know in the beginning, I just thought it was like so rough. I was like, <sighs> but the young actor, Damson Idris, who plays Franklin Saint, if you've watched this show from the beginning, you know that he is amazing. You would never know that he's from Britain. Uh, the way that he plays this character and just embodies it. Well, the show is ending, and next year will be the sixth and final season. Okay, y'all know new episodes of Bel Air drops on Tuesday, and I so wanted to talk about it on Friday, but I said no, because they'd be like, Patty, you be spoiling stuff. Well, I told y'all Tuesday I was ready to talk about Bel Air. My man, my fave, Marlon Wayans, played Will's dad. You know, the great thing about Bel Air, they don't let you know the guest stars that are coming on the show. They really don't. It's like one of the best kept secrets. And when I talked with Michael Ely, who was on there with his old pretty eyes stirring up trouble, he said he didn't want nobody to know he was on the show. So Marlon is great. I love it when he does dramatic roles because he's really, really good. Now, speaking of Bel Air, I know there's going to be a season two, but I really hope that the controversy with Will Smith doesn't get in the way. At this point, I don't think they know what to do with Will. Everyone's like, how do you punish him? How do you punish him for the slap? He would already took the sting out of things by resigning from the Academy. Will it hurt him down the line with other projects? Because he's got a great one in the form of the Apple uh, movie, Emancipation. I don't think they know what to do. Like, he's got one of the biggest agencies. He's one of their biggest stars. And they had a big fight over, should we drop him from the roster? If y'all still giving movies to Mel Gibson, leave him alone. Should there be punishment? Yes. I'm not saying that, that nothing should happen. But all of this, we should drop him. We should do this. Is he going to recover? Every time I see that damn Mel Gibson, who was a racist, he, when people don't be believing that the Holocaust was real, you just got to do this. You just, you just, he has a problem with Jewish people. He has a problem with gay people. He's just, he's just a mess. And it's a shame. Especially when you love them Lethal Weapon movies, Mad Max movies. But if y'all can still be putting Mel Gibson in movies, please, please. Yes, I think Will needs to take some time off because I think there's some emotional stuff going on for him to act out of character. But this constant thing about what should we do? Should we treat him like a pariah? Hell no. No, you should not treat him like a pariah. Should one mistake, one mistake define you when you've had all these years of greatness and no, no trouble or anything? People can rebound from the work, from, from kind of like the worst of things. But Will, the slap was wrong. Boy, I wish it never happened. That thing affected me for a good week. I just felt just some kind of way because I wish it never happened. But he'll be able to. Will needs to take a little break. Now, speaking of Will and Jada, sources are saying that Jada wishes that it never happened. She's not mad that it happened, but she thinks he overreacted, and she wishes it didn't. She said she doesn't need to be protected. I, you, now, you see, you see, you see, I... Maybe she feels like she doesn't need to be protected. But we're going to put our arms around Will and, 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 and show him some love. And Chris Rock, too, who, by the way, y'all, is doing well at the box office. He's on a comedy tour. And he's not even talking about this incident. Not yet. Oh, he will. He will. He could be saving it for a Netflix special. But so far at the box office, uh, Chris Rock. 
is doing very well. R. Kelly wants out of jail. He was found guilty of sex trafficking and he is doing everything, bringing of other people, using them as an example. Kels, he either wants to be acquitted or he wants a new trial. You will get, you got another trial coming up. Don't worry about this one. There are more charges against you because you still got to go to the other states with the sex trafficking. But he's making a big stink about it. I have more stuff to talk about to you guys today than a little bit. Are you watching Bridgerton? Now, I know you're probably thinking, Pat, you just want to see the sex. No, I understand the direction. I understand the direction that it's going. The seduction and the gaze, I, I get it all. But now it's getting juicy, y'all. Kate and Anthony. I am shocked that I like this show as much as I do. And it's not just the sex. John Deron's in the crew. It's, it's great writing, and it can be addictive if you get into it. But right now, I'm just going to say, Kate and Anthony. Paula Patton, she used to be married to Robin Thicke. Whew, she released a video. You know, a lot, lot of people want to do cooking videos. Well, she was fried chicken. She only half cleaned the chicken. Now, I know there are people out there like, I'll clean the chicken. <laughs> I'm from the generation of we're going we gonna, to we gonna clean this chicken. So she halfway cleaned it, and then she proceeded to fry it. But there was no seasoning on the chicken. She put the seasoning in the grease. Paula, I know there's a Popeye's in your neighborhood. Just go by there, girl, a KFC. It, it was a strange moment. And when she put that the seasoning in the grease, it was like, girl, what you doing? Everybody cooks different. The Braxton uh, sisters, yes, they did boycott their sister Tracy's funeral that was given by her husband. A lot of y'all were appalled. You couldn't believe it. The husband, if you're the husband or the wife and you met, they, they got the say. But the Braxton sisters did do their own memorial for Tracy, which was held last Saturday on Tracy's birthday as they came together as a family. Tamar and Tony. Tony looked great. Uh, Trina and Tawanda and mom, they were all there with their celebration. So who do you date after you've dated a motivational speaker, an inspirational speaker? We're talking about the Von Franklin, Lee's marriage, Megan Good. Boy, when they broke up, that was a brouhaha. Don't judge her for how she dresses. <laughs> well, Megan Good is dating a white rapper named Disaster. Disaster. He's one of those with all the thousand tattoos. Now, I'm a tattoo wearer. I got five of them. So this is not a slant against people with tattoos. But he got them tattoos that look dirty. You know, you know some people look dirty. <laughs> I swear I'm trying to get to my mother. I'm trying to get to her. Some people just look dirty. I don't care what they do. It's like, ooh, you still look a little, just a little. Um, yeah, she's dating him. Okay. Cindy Heron from In Vogue. Love In Vogue. I couldn't believe she was 60. She was always the one. I just always loved Cindy. And she was always the one that didn't have to tour. See, with the other girls, it was like, we got to get out of here and make this money. Cindy married a baseball player, Glenn Bragg. Major League Baseball player. They had four kids. She never had to really worry about that. Well, now she's divorcing him after 29 years of marriage. When you can't make it to 30, when you just, it just ends like right there. When you can't get that milestone to 30, you know something was going on. Four children, she filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences, which you know is the code word for cheating. Hmm. Hate to see that happen. Remember when... Blair Underwood and his wife, they get right to, get right to 30. And it's like, the marriage is over. Mm. We wish her luck, but she, she was the one. She never, never had to worry about touring. She wasn't out here begging to go on no tour. 
She had a husband and kids. He's now a, a real estate developer or agent. So, dude got money. But Cindy Heron filed irreconcilable differences. I hope I said that right. It's not cute not knowing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. Because there's going to be a lot of giggles as I go through the different stories. I've turned into my mom talking about the people who look dirty one. If you ever met me in public, I have more. But I, I'm not going to I'm not going to do it here. Um, <laughs> leave a comment. I do go through the comments. Sometimes I get backed up. But then I'll be on a tear. And I just like... Go through them because I appreciate your comments. And we can agree to disagree. We just don't do no name calling or nothing like that. We can agree to disagree all day long. Because you know what? At the end of the day, it's all good. It's not cute not knowing. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.